At some point, there is a time where a man must come to grips with his mortal enemy. In this case, TN Tactical was forced to face his when he had to review a SIG handgun and do so without any bias. An impossible task. Though we all may ask, what can a gun do for our budget? Perhaps the real question we should ask ourselves is, what can our budget do for a gun? What's up guys, Jake with TNT. We'll come to the special, special gun review. One that I actually, uh, well, I never thought I was actually gonna do on this channel. Today we're reviewing the SIG P365. You know, there's a lot of SIGs out there and me being a Glock guy, I've never really shot too many of them. And the ones I did shoot uh, weren't really a great experience. Not that they ever went off on me. I mean, why would a SIG do that? Thankfully, one of my subscribers, one of you guys out there was actually kind enough to send this uh, SIG to me for testing and evaluation, much appreciated. You know who you are. But this one also did come with the SIG Romeo Zero up top here. So today we're going to actually do the first shots video of the SIG P365 with the SAS slide and the Wilson combat frame on there. I've got a few different mags. Some are 10, some are 12, some are 13 round. We'll give you our initial thoughts on it and uh, let you know, let you see how she does. The P365 at this point has been known to be one of the best concealed carry 9 millimeters you can get on the market. It's extremely compact, extremely small, and also fairly accurate. I was just doing a few test shots here and shooting on both a rubber target as well as steel, and it pretty much hit for the most part. I did have a couple of times where I was missing steel with this red dot. I'm not sure if it was me or if it was just the fact that it's such a short, small gun or if it was the red dot that was off zero. But that being said, I do like the red dot itself. It's very compact. I'm not going to bore you with the big specs video because let's be honest, you guys know there's a bazillion reviews of different P365s and different versions the macros and the xls and the all that stuff i'm not going to sit here and try to even pretend that i have a knowledge base of different sig p365s instead i only give you my opinion on this particular handgun as a glock guy as one of the superior more sophisticated gentlemen out there someone who appreciates glocks and let you know what i think about the p365 and i promise to try not to be too biased but how do you take the slide off here and just so you're clear yes we are unloaded safe all that good stuff so how do i feel about it? let's take a card from mr big kill let's kind of break it down a few different categories performance feel and overall value as far as performance goes the accuracy you get from such a small handgun is pretty awesome for performance of such a small package i'd probably have to give it maybe a 7 out of 10. Uh, could it be better sure granted this is like a basic version of the p365 there's no built-in compass there there's there's none of the other bells and whistles you see nowadays i'm just literally rating the sas slide with the wilson combat lower at this point as far as uh, the way it feels it feels really good in the hand i can get a good firm purchase of it fire as i need to on whatever targets i might have with this being such a small firearm it's definitely meant for concealed carry everyday carry self-defense kind of stuff with the red dawn here it's even sweeter not that you even necessarily need it because when you're using something like this you're probably going to be in shorter ranges where you're essentially just point shooting at that point but regardless if you need to have a red dawn there for whatever reason it's nice that's an option so for feel i have to probably say it's a nine as far as price goes, you know, SIGs are always going to be just a slight bit more. They're very comparable to Glock prices, but when I was first getting the firearms, and maybe it's changed, but when I was first getting the firearms and trying to choose between SIG versus Glock, that's my first handgun, actually. I just, I went towards Glock because of the fact that it was a little bit cheaper, about maybe like a hundred bucks. And for me, it felt right in my hands, at least. But that being said, that was a long time ago, and a lot of things have probably changed. Glock hasn't honestly really evolved that much, and I think the P365, being a more recent, Recent edition. I think it's pretty sweet. So as far as price goes for me, I have to give it a six. With the, all the different bells and whistles and options out there, you can spend a lot of money on a P365. For me, as someone who's new to the SIG space, it's almost a little bit too overwhelming for me to figure out exactly what I want to do, what I want to try, and what I want to use. It's almost like too much, you know, too many options. That's me being a Glock guy, and people say that we tend to eat crayons, so it is what it is. But yeah, I just want to show you guys that yes, I can in fact shoot a SIG. I'm not 100% biased towards Glock. 
lock, but I do have my preferences, obviously. I can see why a lot of people tend to gravitate towards P365. Does this mean I'm going to have a huge turnaround on it and start shooting a bunch of different SIGs? Probably not. I'm still wary about the P320s and their tendency to discharge for no reason. But I think if you are looking for something to conceal carry and you absolutely don't want to be a Glock, I think a SIG P365 is going to be a good choice for you. And that, my friends, is coming from a Glock guy. I like it. And if you're dead set on getting a SIG and not a Glock, you will like it too. Guys, that's going to wrap it up today. Remember, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Have you picked up a SIG P365? You probably have. This is the first time I ever have, but you probably have. I'd love to hear from you. We will see you next time. How do I take the slide off? Um, whatever.